This will be a quick video to take a look at some of the new items that have been added recently to the gym store. The first one we will look at is the stylish shoes skin. And those are shoes that have high heels in them. We also have the Winter Monarch outfit. Then we have the Winter Monarch cape. And there's also the Glacial Glider. And there is also another Winter's Day appearance package that contains all of those items along with a total makeover kit, immortal weapon choice, and five Winter Chimes die kit. Then there is also the fancy Winter outfit. And there is currently a sale on the shared inventory slot. And in my opinion, shared inventory slots are one of the most useful things you can buy from the gym store. We have a Thunderstrike harvesting tool with 25% off. And this will include the Glyph of Lizard Worker in it. And remember that those glyphs are account bound. You can remove them, you can put them in another tool, you can put another glyph in the tool itself, you can do whatever you want with them. The Glyph of the Lizard Worker itself right now sells for about 270 gold on the gem store. And this is what the animation will look like when you are gathering. We also have the Firestorm Logging Tool, which again have a 25% off. And this one has the Glyph of Industry in it. And Glyph of Industry sells for about 310 gold on the trading post now. I currently have this skin, but I don't own the Glyph of Industry. So I bought the Karma tool and I put the Firestorm skin in it. And let's see how fast it will gather. Keep in mind that the tool itself will not gather as quick if you are not using the Glyph of Industry. So right now, I have the Firestorm logging tool, but it has the Watch Knight in it. And let's see how fast the tool itself is without the Glyph of Industry. And the last tool is the Earth Shaker Mining Tool, which have the Glyph of Taylor in it. And again, it have a 25% off. And this is what the animation of the tool itself look like. Glyph of the Tailor right now sells for about 90 gold on the trading post. I really would have loved to show you how those tools work just like I did with the Firestorm. But I'm really sorry, I do not have those skins and I don't have enough gold to buy them at this time either. The last item is the Royal Terrace Pass, which currently sells for 500 gems because it's 50% off. You can find this pass northwest of the Crown Pavilion Waypoint in Divinity's Reach. And this is what it looks like from the outside. You have the Mystic Forge, you have all the stations kind of side by side, you have all the different vendors. So it is still a good pass. However, of course, it is not as good as some of the other ones like Armistice or Mistlock for example. So in my opinion, you should only consider this pass if you don't wait for the other good ones to be available again, especially that it sells for only 500 gems now, but I still think that if you can be patient and wait for better passes, it may be a better idea. I made a post yesterday and asked you for your votes about a new guide that I'm working on. And it looks like the majority of you would like to see a video guide on this idea of making class guides. And I already started working on it, and it should be available in the next few days. So make sure to subscribe and enable the notifications to see more guys like this one and to see the upcoming class guide and of course much more to come in the future. Happy New Year and thank you very much for watching.